Hey guys, Eric here from WorshipBandUniversity.com and today we are going to take a look at how to change the key of a track in Ableton Live. Now we already have our worship set set up and we are going to change the key of the first song, This Is Amazing Grace. Now the song I have over here is in the key of A for the way we use it, so if I press play. Intro, two, three, four. We can hear that song in the key of A. Now let's say we are going to be doing this and that morning I had a little bit of a cold or something and we are going to drop it down to the key of G. What we are going to do is we are going to go click on the track and number one we want to make sure the song is warped. We can see that the yellow warp is lit up um, and we can see down here that 98 is the BPM set for the song which is the BPM of the song itself which we can see over here, or it's also written over here too, if we move this over, so you can see the beat per minute of the track. So, as long as it is warped, we can go down here to the transpose thing over here. Now this can basically go up or down a half a step. So for instance, if my track, like right now, is in the key of A, if I bring it to the left, one, it's going to basically bring it down one half a step. So now the track that I play should be in the key of A flat or G sharp. So if I play this now, you'll hear a difference in the track. Intro, two, three, four. Or let's say I want to bring it down to G. Again, I'm going to bring it down one more half step by clicking on it and pulling down. And it's going to go down two half steps or a whole step. So now when I play it again, it should be even lower and now in the key of G. Intro, two, three, four. I can do the same thing by going up if I want to bring it up a little bit higher, let's say a female is singing it, and I want to bring it to the key of B. So again, if I'm in A major, I'm going to bring it up two half steps, which will bring it up a whole step to the key of B. Now this time I'm going to do it right in the middle of the song, so let me bring it back to zero, which will bring it to whatever your normal track is in, in this case. So I'm going to bring it up in the middle so you can hear the change. So I'm going to bring it up to the key of B from A. Intro, two, three, four. And that is going to change our track. So now on the fly, if you guys need a different track uh, for a particular song you're singing, for again, if you get your voice isn't working good, or let's say now, if you go too far out of whack, it may sound a little funny, but for the most part, as long as you stay within a few keys, you should be in good shape and won't have to recreate a track just for that morning. So have some fun with that. Try that out with a couple different songs, and we'll see you guys next time.